Welcome to the Board of Education meeting, work session for April 17th. Can I have a motion on the agenda, please? I'd like to make a motion to amend the agenda to include a closed session at the beginning of the meeting. Can I have a second? A motion and second to amend the agenda to have a closed session right at the beginning of the meeting. All in favor? Yes. Yes. Okay, all opposed? Okay, can I motion to accept the agenda as amended? So moved. Second. Motion and second to approve the agenda as amended. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, the agenda is amended. I can I have a motion to go into closed session? Pursuant to the general provisions, Article 3-305B, the Board of Education of Queen Anne's County, I move we meet in closed session to conduct collective bargaining negotiations or consider matters that relate to the negotiations. Do I have a second to the motion? Second. Motion second to go into closed session for the reasons mentioned. All in favor going into closed session say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, we're moving to closed session. We'll be back in probably about 15 minutes. Okay, welcome back to the work session for April 17th. Um, we want to start our current action items. Mr. Pender, vehicle purchase. Yes, good morning, board members. Um, we have several items that we uh, need to get approved, um, and I will go through them with you. The first item is the replacement of a uh, 1999, one of our maintenance vans that we have. Um, that is 20 years old. Uh, Mr. Risley's um, van is coming down to uh, the end of its life. We have um, a per need a purchase approval for a 2019 F-350 cutaway um, truck. We picked this up on the Sourcewell Cooperative Purchasing Agreement, which we've been doing the other vehicles on. Also, the county uses this um, Sourcewell quite a bit for county government. Um, it's a fairly popular um, cooperative agreement to use. Uh, in some of these, you're going to see we were able to use a cooperative agreement because sometimes on smaller items like that, you get pretty good pricing. When it's a more complex issue, say like when you look at the EMS system we're going to get to, that will be, you know, we bid that out. Just make sure we got the correct um, estimates on that. So was looking to replace the... Um, maintenance truck uh, it's forty thousand four hundred seventy eight dollars this will come out of FY 19 capital funds that have already been allocated for this anybody have any questions about this truck so I need a motion to approve the purchase of the maintenance truck with 2019 money for say how much Oh, for forty thousand. Okay, I don't have the exact amount. Four seventy-eight. Four seventy-eight. Worth forty thousand four hundred seventy-eight. Forty thousand four hundred seventy-eight. So moved. Second. Okay. A motion is second to approve the purchase of the maintenance truck for forty thousand. Four seventy-eight. Four seventy-eight. Um, Ms. Wright. Board members, please respond when I call your name. <coughs> Ms. Kelly. Aye. Ms. Harper? Yes. Ms. Harlow? Yes. Ms. Morissette? Yes. I have four in the affirmative motion carries. Okay. Next item. Yes. The next uh, item is the seeking approval for the purchase of four um, county owned school buses. Um, the current buses that we have will be 15 years old come July. And according to Comar, we will not be able to utilize them on the road anymore. Um, if you remember from last year, we did four buses last year also to um, even up how much it would cost because actually the eight buses were supposed to go out this July. So to kind of even that out, we did four last year, we're doing four this year. Um, this will come out of FY20 capital money. Um, we are piggybacking on Washington County Public Schools bid, which we've done before um, several times. Um, and we're looking forward to purchase the four buses for $430,387. And you may be asking, why are we seeking for that approval now? Because with the school buses, they have to be assembled 
It's not like a car dealership where you show up and just grab the car off the parking lot. So in order for us to have the buses um, inspected, tagged, the radios on, strobe lights and all that, we have to go ahead and order them now um, for the upcoming school year. Mr. Pender, if I recall, we received a, an estimated capital budget approval from the county commissioners and they shorted this amount. Yes, ma'am, that is correct. I spoke to the uh, county uh, administrator, Todd Mon, uh, yesterday and explained to him, you know, this is an item that we need funded. Um, so there's two ways we could handle it. One, can I move money, say, from the, um, there's $115,000 in um, replacement vehicles for maintenance. All right, I can do without that for a year, you know, to get these buses. Or is this funding done? What is um, the shortfall? I'm sorry. What's the difference? The uh, it was about a hundred and around one hundred fifteen thousand dollars. So, it's about so I could take that, put that in there, because, like I said, it's more critical to get the buses ordered now. Um, Mr. Mom was fine with that. He also said that uh, you know the capital budget wasn't you know fully I struck yet, so they may come back you know and help us out with that. Okay. But I do, like I said, I have the money. I, I would, I'm more than willing to give up that because the buses are that critical. Um, you know, we can hop along with the. Uh, 1989 ban for another year. So. Since we do not have those funds at our discretion at the moment, do we have the money to cover this now? We will not get billed for these until okay. after July 1st. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay. I just want to make sure that nope. deposits or anything need nope. to be down. No okay. deposits. And like I said, we split them up so that we wouldn't have to hit the county up for eight in one year. So four last year, four this year. And we did have enough in capital last year to do it? Yes, ma'am. So we can tell them that. So what we, we did last shortage. year was we were able to do it during the year because those buses weren't out of service yet. Gotcha. But now it's, yeah, July 1st, that's okay. 15 years, they're off the road. Okay. So. These are county buses, they're not? Yes, ma'am. These are county okay. uh, buses that, uh, for special needs students. So you indicated, though, that they are not firm on the capital budget yet? He had said that they would work to see if they could allocate maybe another, you know, $100,000 for that item. And again, you know, it's not set in stone, but, you know, I can take and move that 115 to cover it just in case that does not happen. Hate spending money we don't have. I was going to say, I wouldn't offer to do that until they say that. Not well, <laughs> I mean, but the time is of the essence. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, I yeah. get what you're saying. I know we have to do it. I would try to get it out of them first. Well, these buses for school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. So, okay, well, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. okay. Do I have a motion? Are we okay? Any more discussion on it? I have a motion to approve the purchase of four school buses for four hundred thirty thousand three hundred eighty-seven dollars. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second for approval of four school buses for $430,387. This is right. Board members, again, please respond when I call your name. I'm Captain Kelly. It's $430,387. I'm going to make it clear. Um, yes. Okay, um, Ms. Harper? Yes. Ms. Harlow? Yes. Ms. Morissette? Yes. I have four in the affirmative. The motion carries. Okay. All right, the next one. Okay, the next item we have we need approval for um, action item is the uh, Kent Island High School um, Energy Management System that is about 20, 21 years old and is failing. This is FY18 money. Um, this is money that was split from the state and the county as a capital project, and you're going probably, why is this a year behind? It takes a year to go through all the process of the design documents and engineering and all that. Um, we did a uh, RFP, um, had a public bid on this, and we came in under budget of what we estimated, um, what we had allocated. And we we're seeking to have um, Johnson Controls install our EMS system um, for a total of $917,000. The EMS system controls all the air conditioning and controls all the heat and the ventilation. 
the three bids were on the back. If you um, take a look at the third sheet, it will show you who bid on the project. And then we were able to actually um, take alternate, alternate four, which handles the flow of air and add that into there and still stay under budget. The other action items that you, or I'm sorry, alternates that you see, we were able to um, take those into the chiller replacement. So we were able to save on that area because the glycol and all those things will be handled when we replace the chiller there. Any questions on this item? So these are encumbered funds from 18? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a, basically a 50-50 split with the county and state. But they're in reserve, so we don't have to ask for extra money. No. And this is one that has to get IAC approval in May. Okay. So we can begin in uh, June as soon as school gets out, because we're going to be really going through Kennelly High School, the whole entire building, to get this straight. But the uh, initial work that was done, how did we pay for that? We paid we part of the money. You said there's some design and preparation. That's why we're so another okay. Year the now. original amount that we had uh, was one million and eighty thousand okay. dollars. So we were able to use part of that for design fees um, and engineering fees, and then actually still stay under budget with the um, uh, quote that we got. Didn't Johnson okay. Controls do the some of the initial work? No, the <laughs> building um, another company installed that. Oh, okay. Um, this will bring about 11 or 12 of our buildings on with Johnson Controls, which is a great help to the maintenance department instead of getting a separate program up and trying to, you know, run it. Um, we can actually, this current system, I have to go to the warehouse if somebody has a problem to actually get on there. It's still on the dial-up system. Um, that's how old it is. Um, this will put us on par with, like I said, 12 of our other schools. So seeking approval for uh, $917,000 for the Ken Island High School EMS system. It, well, that, that's what was budgeted for, right? The impact you said here is $877,740. If, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. You're right. 800, I put my glasses on. Okay. 877700 770. Yeah, you got it. 770. Okay. So I need a motion to approve the purchase of the Ken Island High School Energy Management System for the cost of $877,770. With Johnson Controls. With Johnson Controls. Sorry. So moved. Second. And one other item. Some of these capital projects, if we do have money left over, we can go to the county commissioners and say, hey, can we move that to, you know, FY20 capital? And a lot of times they've been generous with that. So that's another one where we could pick up ten, twenty thousand dollars on, say, the buses if we had to. Okay. I, li I like to do that, too. I mean, it shows good faith with them that we're up front, that we didn't actually spend that money, but we'd like to spend it on something else. You have a motion on the floor? Okay. The I have a motion floor. and a second to approve the use of Johnson Controls to upgrade the energy management system at Ken Island High School in the amount of $877,770. Mrs. Rick. Board members, please respond when I call your name. Captain Kelly? Yes. Mrs. Harper? Yes. Mrs. Harlow? Yes. Mrs. Morissette? Yes. I have four in the affirmative. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. The next item we have is the Sellersville Elementary School um, asphalt paving. Uh, if you remember back in 2016, we had a facility assessment performed. And the next item, sorry, is the EMS. We're going to, I mean, EOS. the EOS contract. Oh, sorry. We, we, <laughs> which we're on a roll, Mr. Pender. I was in a groove there. You were. Sure. Right. She wanted you to breathe. You should have hit me. <laughs> okay, I don't have that one. Okay. Here it's the EOS. It's it's Dr. Dr. Kane, do you want to? It's 2.04, yeah. and this is the contract for Equal Opportunity Schools, the work that we are engaged in this year um, to extend that work to ensure that students who are not traditionally enrolled in our advanced courses have an opportunity. This school year, we did the survey for the entire staff. We uh, have had several meetings with the EOS um, leaders, and their 
are working with our staff and we're well on our way. Schools, and this is for both of the high schools, the schools are uh, putting in place some activities to ensure that staff are connecting with students and encouraging them to uh, enroll in the advanced placement classes for next year. Um, for this contract, we pay a portion. The state gives us $10,000 and we pay uh, the, the rest of the portion. So ten thousand dollars per school. Oh, that's where the twenty grand came from. Thank you for that. So our cost for both schools is twenty-eight thousand eight hundred. Yes, Correct. that would be your budget impact. Yes, ma'am. Budget impact. And this is an FY twenty budget FY20. item. And there's currently thirty thousand dollars in your request to fund right. this FY twenty. Right. So that I need to make sure everyone's aware of that if we're short on if we're shorted if we're only given. The two, what they believe they're going to give us, then we're going to be making decisions. Um, so we're making a decision to purchase this before we actually get know what our real budget is for 2020. Is there a particular reason we need to solve this right now? Because in, we need to reserve our space with the um, company so that they put us on their calendar to continue to work with our school district. Um, and I can tell you that what we ended up doing was just trying to piece some dollars together um, to ensure that our students had access to this because it wasn't budgeted last year. We're asking for it in our budget this year so that we can continue and we have a regular funding source for it. Um, but I'm pretty confident that we'd be able to piece some pieces together if something fell through and we weren't able to um, include this in our budget for fiscal year 20. So EOS is actually a company? Equal Opportunity Schools. Is it affiliated? With whom, or is its own company? It's its own company. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's been picked up by MSDE and. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we have a point where MSDEs would not provide us the money? I I don't know. This has been going on for a number of school uh, of years now. We just got on board for this school year. Um, Dorchester, um, I think Prince George's, um, I believe Montgomery, Montgomery um, counties are all doing this and they've been doing it for longer than us and it's been going on each year. MSDE um, speaks to superintendents to encourage us to get our districts on board and they have these $10,000 per school that they've been offering. They just came again last month to our superintendents meeting so they certainly are continuing for next year and haven't given us any indication that this would be something that they would not do uh, moving forward. If I may add, uh, Madam Superintendent, we, we had met with our high school principals yesterday in our scheduling meeting. Uh, both high schools have an additional 30 students uh, that are going into advanced placement courses as a direct result of the work with EOS. Well, just if you're interested, what are a couple of things they or a thing they do to encourage them? One example. So they meet with the teachers, um, and they look. At, each school has an equity team, and they meet with those teams, and they, we look at our data. We look at which students, and we go student by student. The schools do, and say, okay, does this student have the potential to be successful? We also engage with our um, minority achievement coordinators, the schools do, to ensure that they're able to, and the schools um, themselves, provide some support and wrap their arms around these children who may never have had an advanced placement course, uh, course in the past. Or been approached to even think about having and, one. And, and the results of the survey that was administered this past fall, some of the students said, well, I never even considered exactly. myself, you know, someone who would be able to take this course. I really didn't know much about it. Um, I thought it was too much homework. You know, they're concerned about support. So all of those barriers we want to knock down. Um, because research tells us that even having the experience of being in a course at that level of rigor is going to benefit children regardless of whether they decide they want to go to college or if they want to go straight into a career pathway. Right. And how do they pull the parents into this to convince them to let their children? Yeah, so they, um, some of the, at one of our schools, the principal sent handwritten letters um, home to students and families and they certainly have been informing the parents about this information So they're approaching it from a number of different ways and there's a mentor group right that mentor them. each each school has a support group that they're forming so, like I said, so they could really wrap their arms around the students and support them. Um, also, the minority achievement coordinators do after-school groups, and they support with homework um, and that kind of thing. So, 
there are a and number of minority folks. doesn't necessarily mean ethnic minority it can be a financial minority it can be um, someone who has some um, mental health issues and doesn't mm -hmm. recognize that he could fun or she could function in this environment but they learn they can and 30 children this year, I think that's pretty impressive. That's very impressive. Very for impressive. For year one. Absolutely. Because remember, not only is this a shift for students, but this is a shift for our staff. staff. Yeah. Um, and, you know, th this is really stretching our staff to think about how they can support students academically yeah. um, for students who may not have fully demonstrated that they can be successful, but we know have the potential or we believe have the potential. So this is a bit of a, a culture shift and certainly a mind shift. Um, why have we not tried to do this sooner? Do I don't know, know. I wasn't here, but I can mm -hmm. tell you that we're excited um, now. You yeah. know, we started this year. Right. I learned right. about it last year when I came and um, thought that it was worthwhile and, and signed us on board yep. um, to, to start to, um, you know, get some footing around this. Well, absolutely. When our lower county, shore counties are already ahead of us, we, we don't like that. <laughs> and we don't be right there, too. A little okay. bit of competition in there. Good. Is, is it open to really any student that would want to come in and it get is, this extra It is. This, is. this is about students who are not traditionally, um, you know, in an advanced placement course. Mm -hmm. and, and in many cases, that means students of color, students with, that speak another um, language as their first language, students who live in poverty. That's generally the type of student that has not taken um, based on data um, that has not taken an advanced placement course. And we want to tap into that group and ensure that they know, regardless of their ethnicity, uh, that this is something that you should try. Or once, once the word gets out, too, I mean, there may, may be other students that don't fit any of those categories that still would be interested in getting especially that extra help. And that there's support for them. There's support for them, right. Okay. Good job. Okay, I need a motion to approve. The contract for uh, Equal Opportunity Schools in the amount of um, $28,800. So moved. Second. Okay, motion second for approval of the Equal Opportunity Schools <coughs> contract Excuse in the amount of $28,800. Board members, again, please respond when I call your name. Captain Kelly? Yes. Mrs. Harper? Yes. Mrs. Harlow? Yes. Mrs. Morissette? Yes. I have four in the affirmative. Motion carries. Okay, Mr. Pender, SES, asphalt. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right. Um, and you can move into interior painting, too, after that. Reminds me of a lethal weapon. We're uh, seeking approval um, to have um, asphalt work done at Sellersville Elementary School. We will be um, doing milling and overlay and full depth repair on the entire parking lot, student drop-off, and the recess areas. Um, that school is about 20 years old. There has been no work to the asphalt, um, no ceiling, sealant put on it. And if you remember, we did the facility assessment back in 2016, and this identified our future projects out um, for the next 20 years. And we really got dinged on um, the pavement part of it because we did not have that allocation for that. So this money would come out of the facility assessment capital for FY19. Um, we used the source of well contract to uh, receive the quote. We were trying to use local companies as much as we can. Um, this one would be with Bramble. And this work would be done as soon as school gets out at Sellersville Elementary School for $215,626.60. That is not who is this is. This is Page. It um, says Page Industrial, Industrial Services. Page Industrial Services is the general contractor who. And Bramble um, is works the subcontractor. It up and then the subcontractor, yep. Bramble, you yep. said? Okay. But Page Industrial is the one who's getting the contract. That's correct. Yeah, that's Since correct. Page Industrial is also getting the contract on the interior painting of Southersville Elementary School, can we not combine these in one motion? Okay. Is Talk that, to us about that, painting. The painting for all three Southern of them will be with Paige. Okay, so the interior painting yep. for Southernsville Elementary School to the tune of $108,042.30. This is all coming from FY 2019 budget. Oh, uh, that's correct. And the Graysonville one is also FY 19. So we have three of them. Okay. All with Paige Industrial. Okay, I need a motion to approve three contracts one for Graysonville Elementary. 
interior painting, Sellersville Elementary. Wait, let, me, let me digress here, please. You have to say the amount for oh, each of the school. Okay. okay. Sorry. Start over here. I didn't really like to combine them. I don't like to combine. Okay, well, but we'll do it all together. Um, I need a motion to approve a contract for Graysonville Elementary School interior painting for $113,768.36. The contract with Sellersville Element with Page Industrial Services. Another contract with Sellersville Elementary School interior painting for the amount of $108,042. $108,000. I'm sorry, $108,042.30 with Page Industrial and a contract with Sellersville Elementary for asphalt paving with Page Industrial Services in the amount of $215,626.60. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second for all those contracts. Board members, please respond when I call your name. Kevin Kelly? Yes. Ms. Harper? Yes. Ms. Harlow? Yes. Ms. Morissette? Yes. I have four in the affirmative. The contracts, all three are approved. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. you all are, are you up there? You're having your staff stay for a discussion on the handbook? Yes. You are. Okay. <coughs> okay. We'll start into our handbook. I was trying to figure out the best way to do this, um, but um, I guess we just start page to page. If you have different, um, I'll go one page at a time. Have any changes to them? We'd like to work on this. As I really have a problem with this, and I'll tell you why. We should have a copy of what it said to compare to what it says now. To look at this as a change that was made over a year ago, mm -hmm. and say you're going to approve it when you don't even know what you're changing. Excuse me. Do you have your? I do, but we didn't write in this every word for word what what we changed. Okay. It's, we'll it's highlighted what we talked about. We should have had a printout of this is what it said. And th this should show every change, have, have the change indicated. We've got a printout, but it doesn't say what changed from the original to this. So we could have a page that doesn't have any changes on it. We don't have any indication that that's the brought, case. Why didn't you bring this up to me earlier? I did. Shane? I did. Not I had me. brought this up earlier about this well, um, a couple of months ago and said that this said. this isn't what we should have in our book, that we are bound to be going by the 2015, and that when we start talking about this, we should have the change in front of us. I mean, nothing here in this draft indicates well, what the verbiage what changed? Like, like, show me what changed so here. You're not able from to just here. read this and see if it matches what you would like to be done. That's what I did. I took the new one because we've been through this several iterations, and I went through page by page on the new one. Any changes that we should make? Um, anything that didn't make sense to me. The original one was written, and has we've been living with it for a while. Well, it's our current manual. Yes. So what were you saying? If you want me to get a copy of um, my notes, I can share oh. that. But it's just my handwritten notes. It's nothing. It's not going to be yeah. anything. We're using the trying. one that you put in here, correct? This is the one. This is the one. That's where, where I incorporated. Right. Okay. It this was she in here. Incorporated. That's what I went off of. Right. Yeah. She incorporated her notes into this of what we had changed from the original. Well, I had I have a question right off the bat because uh, I was looking at our authority and responsibilities of the Board of Education. I just want to know if there's anything new from Comar since 2015 that we need to be adding onto this page, page six. That's a dangerous um, question. Because I, I don't see question. in our mandatory duties defined by law, the, you know, the key school board work, do we have to include the lens of equity? Yeah. Um, that is part of an equity, ed educational equity policy okay. that um, MABE has been working on okay. um, or so. doing professional development on. And we have, as a district, included what we needed to include in our district policy. Okay. As far as your handbook, I haven't gotten, since I've been superintendent, any information that we need to change from, that. Right, okay. from what you need to do as pertaining to COMAR. I just wanted to make sure that, so, yeah, the one I, that was one of the first things that I looked at. What needed to be what had yeah. from a comar do we had to add anything right. more here what the plan is when we go through and make these changes a plan to um, also submit it to mr burns and have him be sure we're totally in compliance with what we're doing 
Um, so that I thought that would be covered under that, Tammy. So, um, I, I found a bunch of grammatical errors. So, if uh, I've, I have a bunch of just, substance things, I think we should talk about. I, so I'm just talking about just the English comma and <laughs> a couple of run-on sentences and. Okay. So yeah. so, I guess I just have to ask, if I've made a lapse here from last year, like I, hided, I highlighted the things that I wanted to discuss, okay. but I didn't have notes on what other people added to that discussion, so... Ms. Wright is saying that she put those, the notes that she took on our original discussion, she has incorporated them in the big draft, the new draft. Okay. So I, I think we're still capable to go through the new draft. Um, and if there's areas when we hit the pages you're concerned with, Sharon, and, and bring up the items to secure, sure that they got incorporated. Where's our mission statement? Right in the beginning. In the beginning. Much in the because beginning. I know I had a note on that, that that was in the process of being changed. Do we have <coughs> a new mission statement? No. Not that I know. We haven't even gone over that. That's one of those items that you can go through when you have a, an annual retreat. Yeah, I don't even see that. And, which is in here, well, too. Like I said, um, we were told it was being changed and worked on and updated. We weren't doing that. No, we weren't. And that's should so be our that's responsibility. Why I asked if it's the mission been statement on page 14. Oh, thank you, Tim. Okay, yes. No, policy's on 14. On oh. the old book, maybe in the new book, mission is. On page 14. On page 14. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So let's well, go back, start at the beginning. Yeah, because okay, before that, I've got to move along. Yeah. Um, well, so policy's my does anybody have anything? I'll say uh, page, we'll just start up with page uh, four. And last time we discussed it, we decided it'd be nice to keep that little bit of history in there. Mm -hmm. Page five, page six. Well, I guess the that's our index, so to speak, right? Our table and of contents, it, that has to change different. according to the pages that change. Right, and it's always the last thing in a document. Yeah. Yes, yeah. because you can't it do it till everything is completed. So we probably could just skip that at this point. So I'd like to go to page six, um, and my question is, uh, and this is for you, Superintendent, too. On number seven down for our resp board responsibilities, we have making decisions on education budget, financial. It says, with the exception of special ed settlements, and we don't get involved in special ed settlement settlements? That is something that your uh, board attorney would certainly be involved okay. with. Um, and I don't know why that's there, except that, you know, just as in the event that we should have one, the settlement is whatever the settlement is based on the judge and all that, you know, intricacies of the case. So that's probably why that's there. Okay, I'll note that to question him. And then it sucks about facility matters. We make decisions on, I guess, what we just did for facilities. Is that what I put down? But I we do make decisions well, on how, facility matters. On funding, you, you certainly do make That's decisions all. on funding financial. of facility matters. Yeah, it's financial. I don't know that we, well, I guess yeah. we could leave that in there then. Yeah. Um, the other one is eight and nine, establishing curriculum guidelines and courses of study. We, and establishing school attendance boundaries. We don't, we're not establishing the curriculum. Right, we're you approving. don't, correct. You don't establish it, you right. approve it. So I think we should change that to proving, approving. Are we authorized as board members to establish the attendance boundaries? No, we Is approve board, them. Who, who establishes the boundaries? The superintendent. Or does the county? So, so, so I oh, believe that state. is a conjunction with the, uh, the county. So, I can I can speak to it a little bit, but I think you know if you want to add anything, um, Sid, if we wanted to change boundaries, um, you know, within our school district, that would certainly be something that would have to come to you for approval. Right. But we'd be working with our county with right. regard to that. Wait a minute, does this mean county boundaries or attendance? Boundaries. boundaries. We're talking, so say we uh, closed a school or opened a school oh. and needed to change yeah, attendance oh. boundaries. Oh, oh, oh. Right. We would for establish it, we would approve it. Proving, so for those two, I just like change the wording from establishing to prove, gotcha. proving. Okay. Um, and the other one is we, uh, the employment of architects. Is that what? We do employ architects. Right. And we had to approve Carla's appointment. Or just, I'm interested I bet if we just why say approve. we. 
well, yeah. anybody, you know, because she would, just like anybody else, would come up on the HR report. Right. Um, I'm not sure why this is particularly, this is from 2015, why so I don't so know confused. specifically what the case was where they singled an architect out. Yeah, I don't either, so. I do, but that's okay. I, okay. So yeah. I would suggest that we just, the admit. verbiage should be approve the employment of architects. Why? Just, yeah. Why do we pick just an architect? Well, I know what happened it, in the I, past, Yeah, let's leave it alone. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're also looking at when you approve an architect for uh, designing an entire school. Oh, okay. So it would be like, you know, we were hiring, um, you know, such and such firm to design the school, not just for our own um, small projects, but a large project, you would have to approve that. We didn't and have they it in would there. have to improve a contract That's to, what, yes. right. As yes. I recall, that. we did not have this line in there when we did Southernsville Elementary School. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, back in the, back before this was done in 2015, I don't believe that this verbiage was in there. That's why they added it. It's just okay. Just a Not history on that. We can yeah. We can so that approve the employment, employ approve the employment of architects, which I don't get why, but it's here. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's change that to read approve Boundaries. employment the employment of architects. It's not really the employment; it's the contracts. Yeah. We don't actually employ them. We we hire them. But it's as a contractual employee. Right. It will be on a contract. Okay. And you have to approve, approve architect contracts. Because if it was a big one, it, I'm sure it would be over $25,000. Yeah. Yes, so, it's huge. I mean, it was huge. Yeah. The one so, architect alone was a million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say possibly approve architect contracts. You know, and I'm just talking out loud, it could be that because there was no purchasing policy um, that some things had to be spelled out so okay well let's just be sure we keep that in for now yes improve okay. architect contracts of architect contracts you don't know we just say approve the hiring of architects it's fine because there's a lot of architect contracts and I don't want to be approving all of those individually okay. anything else on page six Okay, page seven. Please. Um, Ms. Jackie, the very first line under responsibilities, the board is responsible for determining the mission and vision of the school systems, take out that comma, and adopting um, goals to achieve that vision, there's no need for that comma. The next line, the board shall adopt policies consistent with these goals, comma, take out the and, shall regularly review such policies and the progress towards attainment of these goals. Wait a minute, what page are we on? Seven. Seven. Oh, the new one, right there, responsibilities. Oh, First I'm sorry, forever. okay, okay. And at the very bottom, the next one I had was uh, the authority of the board's collective and not individual, period, except where the board has delegated decision-making to one of its members, comma, board members, I would suggest that the word board members be a single board member cannot act on behalf of the board. I thought that wasn't in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, a single. One. I, I just I see I, that. I, board I, members sound like a group. I yeah, say right. a single board member cannot act on behalf of the group of the board. Single. Okay. That's all I had for that page. There's another one I had was um, uh, three paragraphs up from the bottom. Um, it's we say that. Um, what did it start with? Executive responsibilities are administrative in nature involving the implementation of policy or statutory responsibilities of the board. Examples include the appointment of cert certificated personnel, um, the evaluation of superintendent, the selection of board officers, and committee assignments. The appointment of certificated personnel, we approve that? You approve that. That. Mm -hmm. so That's in the HR report. Okay. Um, that's pretty much, that's in there. That's what executive is. Um, and the other one I have is committee assignments. The, um, what was my problem with that? I don't think committee assignments are in there because that's under the purview of the president. Right. So I was just cross that off. Just end the selection of board officers. Period. 
about the election, not selection. Okay. The, the election, election, the election yeah. of board officers, that and then take out period, take out the whole committee mm -hmm. assignment thing. Okay. Does anybody else have anything on page seven of the new draft? Okay, page eight. Okay, my suggestion for this, mm -hmm. when we wrote the policy on policy, my suggestion was that we took the verbiage from this book and put it in there. I think it's the first paragraph, maybe under purpose. And then Mrs. Jones tweaked it. Tammy had some inputs. I think we need to bring that exact statement back into this so they match. The policy on policy statement came directly from here, had a few tweaks and changes to it, and now it needs to come back and be here exactly as it is on there because that's how it was generated. That's what okay. it was generated from, this that's book. That's the first paragraph? It's the whole thing. The whole I'd have statement. to look and see exactly. You'll see when you pull up policy on policy how it starts and how much of this we used. I think it was all of it, and Mrs. Jones and Tammy and I and the co committee all tweaked it for punctuation and things like that. And I made a conscious note to myself that when we got to this, it needed to come back into here as it sits in that. Okay. Because That's I what also, we based our policy on yeah, policy. Because policies developed by the from. board with the advice of the superintendent and the policy committee. That See, I we was, changed some of that. Yeah, we changed yes, some of that's that. That's why it needs to come back to this book as it is on that approved so policy So could we now. see that? Could somebody send that to us in an email? Uh, I might have it. So we've got it in front of us right now, um, and we, we can certainly read for you because all that's on this page, and it could be that you wanted to strike some of what's on this page, is right. not in the policy. So the purpose reads, the purpose of this policy is to provide a uniform format and consistent process for policy and regulation development, implementation, and review. And clearly that doesn't need to be here, but this statement of the policy it is it the, and that's statement. part of what's it's here. It's a statement. It okay. is the intent the of purpose. the Board of Education of Queen Anne's County, the board or board, to develop policies to serve as guidelines for its own operation and for the successful and efficient functioning of Queen Anne's County Public Schools in accordance with the board's mission statement, which is hyperlinked. Mm -hmm. The board develops its policy subject to federal law, the Maryland Constitution, the Annotated Code of Maryland, and the Maryland State Department of Education's bylaws, rules, and regulations. Policies are developed by the board with the advice of the superintendent and executive team. So this first paragraph, paragraph is yes. that statement. Yeah, that okay. completely that, takes yeah. that for mm -hmm. right. So, we'll so it comes the statement back into the book. Yep. Yep. Statement. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah. the rest may be able to stay just as it is. I'm not sure. I just remember that's how we we had some other verbiage we had started with for our statement, and no, then I said, you know what, we've got that in our manual. They should mirror no, one another. you're exactly right, sure. <coughs> so, yeah, that's very consistent, um, which we need. Not sure, as Dr. Kane reads, whether any of this needs to change. Well, the third one down, the third uh -huh. paragraph down needs to include. I was going to ask you if you had issues yeah, with that. Yeah, it needs to include the policy committee. Just where it says here that it may originate with a board member, blah, blah, it also it needs to include policy committee okay. as one of the originators well, because it does. It all comes out of it, policy it, it committee. It does, but it also... It also comes from all these other folks, We also too. have parents. Well, that is all in here. here. Okay. It's all okay. here. I just want to well, include staff the policy members committee. is not really... Co it covers some of our committee members. It does You're cover right. staff You're members. Right. Yep, yep. So is there is there a change to that sentence? Just adding the word policy committee policy as one committee. of the one of the originators. Yeah. All right. I'm fine with that. And then what was the second ongoing policy review throughout the year? Superintendent is given the oh, there is somewhere in that development policy where we scoped out um, or we had talked about it. I can't exactly remember. Like once a year, we get that layout of the future policy. policies that need to be reviewed and all of that. I, I believe that verbiage changed a little. So that was the superintendent's responsibility. I think that's what the policy states. But there's some additional verbiage, I believe, in that. 
So for ongoing Assess. policy review, it reads, the board through the superintendent and executive team conducts an ongoing policy review throughout the year. Superintendent shall be charged with the responsibility of developing the calendar of policies to, pres to be presented to the board by August of each mm -hmm. year. That and what paragraph is that, Dr. Uh, King? That, that needs to come under, back into here. That is uh, Section B, two, ongoing policy review. Section that, B, that, in here. Yeah, yeah. that needs that to come, come in. into here and replace this entire thing. Or number two, paragraph mm -hmm. two, yeah, mm -hmm. that fits. Yep. That's fine. So that's going to go out and become that Section B from the policy on policy. A point of development. Yeah, it gives us a, a mirror. Reference. Yes, and, and, and so then... Nobody's going to say, well, wait a minute, your policy says this and your manual says this. Yeah. So, great. That's good. The other part, we could still keep that last sentence yes. of the first, of the second oh. paragraph. Adoption, Adoption of new policies policy. or the revision or repeal is solely the responsibility of the board. Um, is that true? That is uh, true, right? I'm not sure if that's reflected anywhere in that adoption of new policies or the revision or repeal of existing policies. We have to do that. It's true. We but have it's to true. do that. responsibility of the board. I wonder why we wouldn't have had that. I wish I'd have that policy. We don't have that in there, though. That last line. Uh-huh. It, it may be here, in the policy adoption somewhere. Adoption of new policies, the revision or repeal of existing policies is solely the responsibility of the board. That's not in that. I don't yeah, recall. I'd like to look at the notes from Mrs. Jones as she edited. She may have documented why that's not there or put it somewhere else. It could be I'd in our handbook. It doesn't it need to be in the policy development of policies. Uh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Well, this is the policy <laughs> development. I know, but that this this is referring to us. just us. Just yeah, it does. Board. It does read that. It's in, somewhere it, in it, there. It is. I was thinking she wouldn't down. have just left it out without a okay. reason, right. or she moved it. So it reads: formal adoption of new policies and/or revision or there repeal of existing policies are solely within the province of the board and will only and will occur only after the proposed policy has been out for public comment for a minimum of two regularly scheduled board meetings. And I would keep all of that. To As a legal authority, here. she gave us her legal opinion on that. So I would accept that as a change to the manual. Where was that, Dr. Kane? Under what that paragraph is, was um, that? Six, formal policy presentation, adoption, revision, or repeal. Section six? Mm -hmm. Great. So do we just take most of that and just plot we'll just dump, mm -hmm. it? Dump. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, thank you. Section B and section six. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yep. That's all. All right, good. Thank you, Sharon. That's a good rewrite of that section, since well, that is one of our primary duties. That's where a lot of the confusion beginning. started, I think. Um, who's a, who's responsible for what, when, and how? Yeah, and that's pretty with clear. With Tammy's help and everyone on the committee's help, we finally got that well defined. That's great. We need to take advantage of all that work that was done, and all Jackie has good to do point. is type it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And have something different Great. from this in another place. So. I don't think that would be a good idea. Okay, anything else? Page eight. Page nine. Um, this one brings up a lot of issues because I'm just generally speaking, when you're so short on a board, um, you know, we, we have it clear in here that, a, and I want to ask Darren about this, a quorum for five people on a board is three. But what if you only have four people on a board, which happens? Still the same. How do we know that? Just That's, um, that was addressed in our, and I don't have my um, notes here, but our open meetings training when we talked about uh, quorum. Right, but then it's the, A quorum of a four. Majority, but it would still have to be a majority. It would be three. So it couldn't be two and still two. It would still yes. have to be A quorum three. of okay. four right. is still three. A quorum of five <clears throat> is also three. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you've got a board of nine, it's different. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm up for that. All right. Okay. Then the absolute majority. The super about, majority is sort of different. This one is three yeah. members, quorum and number of votes needed for action. It says motions or resolutions may be adopted only with the concurrence of an absolute majority. Now, how is that differing? It says three votes. I, it's three votes no matter what. If we have four, we have um, five. I, I think a super a majority. majority is an absolute majority, and I believe that's four or more. It can we be four, four or four. Four or four is unanimous. Well, right, four or four. But then later on, a, on in this on, book, it, it On says, a board of five, it would be four. If we're down to a board of four, it would be three. There's it's another, based on how many people you have currently correct. serving on your board. Correct. There's right. another spot in here where we say 
There's another spot down in here. Yeah, I know. I know. We'll get there, but says I'm looking at this one. I, I would think ask we Darren just take, about that. I think we need to cross off three votes. That's my thing. I would ask Darren about that. We may have a different yeah. absolute. Yeah. Majority I would define yet. what absolute is yeah, exactly yeah. based know. on what he tells you. Right. So take the three out and get him to define that. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. There's uh, just two spots. Um, is right where there's. Under be, be respectful, there's a, a gap in between of and opposing, and down or be responsible between tool and in, just closing the gaps later in those paragraphs. It's just a matter of typing. Yeah, you see that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or at the end. Yeah. Thank you. It's just that one, on end up here, opposing. Under be respectful and be responsible. Yeah, okay. All right. Page 10, any changes? Um, what we talked about was the annual board evaluation and retreat. What we did, I don't know. I've got it asterisked that we discussed it. Mm -hmm. Don't know. Let me see what it Perhaps says. Perhaps because we haven't done one. Here at the time. We must have left it the same, but we did seem to discuss it. I think because we just were talking about how we never did, we haven't had one in ages. So, well, we did. We had we did one. That one wouldn't. Um, yeah. But it wasn't. You I mean, before that, we didn't have. Um, no, I don't ever remember. Okay. How about page eleven? I do on page 11, third paragraph down. The board shall review this information to, and take out and and will, to consider both the performance of individual students and overall system performance, blah, blah. I just thought it was and and will. That's was a compound sentence. Mm -hmm. um, one, two, three, fourth one down. The board will review the appropriateness the measure, of the measurements of the goals each year, take out that comma, and then the last one, uh, staff will develop appropriate learning strategies, curriculum, and instruction based on the results of the school, student, school, and system performance, period. Take out the word and, capitalize each year the board shall consider these proposals for inclusion. It's just too many run-on sentences for me. Sorry. That's Which like, and were we like taking out? Answer? <laughs> I'm just, on, I'm the fourth, sorry, it was just, on, the fourth just paragraph. The, the very last edit. paragraph, uh -huh. after performance period, take out the and, capitalize each. Sorry, Jeff. Oh, it's fine. I didn't write it. This, this came I know. from um, Sorry. Okay. For my council. Page 12. Page 13. Wait a minute. Page 12. 75% thing. This is where the 75% and the very last paragraph. State board may remove a voting member of the county board for immorality, misconduct in office, incompetency, willful neglect of duty, and failure to attend, 75. comma, without cause, at least 75% of the scheduled meetings. I would say scheduled meetings. Do those include workshops? Do we say scheduled meetings and workshops, or? They're all scheduled They're all scheduled They're meetings, all scheduled so it doesn't meetings. matter. Right. Okay. Ahead. And then. Maybe that's where I saw the 75%. That's where the 75% is. Okay. Yeah. All right. That was my question. Thank you. Page 13. Oh. That number should be 35,000 a year. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> just throw that out. I've actually had, uh, I've been approached by a couple of county commissioners over the last two years asking if we should increase this. By commissioners? I was only approached by, by, um, residents. Yeah, I said they're never going to go for that, and we're not. I'm not going to put my name on that, that request. Love you, I, we always say we're not they touching that. That's the well, that's if the commissioners Mr. would pay us, that would be one thing. But as Mr. Um, Mr. Simmons used to yep. say, that oh, he, he said to me all the time, especially for um, you know, he had a dollar amount and everything. And he wanted thing. it to be. Do you know? Do you have any idea of what uh, surrounding districts uh, stipend is? I do. I've looked. And we're what well in keeping with them, maybe a little higher or a little lower. And there Rome are counties that oh, do yeah, pay yes. much higher. Yeah. But in general, for Kent, Queen Anne's, Caroline, Tall. Yeah, we're right in line with the Eastern okay. Shore. We're okay. right there. And 
No, I, 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 my response is, do you want someone serving for the money or do you want someone serving because they have the passion to serve and the best interests of the system at heart? Because sometimes money might get in the way of that. That's what I said every right. time it's come to me. Yeah. Okay, um, page 14. And just a side note, as re after reviewing this, um, it would be good for us to have a future retreat to reevaluate if this is what we want for our vision and mission, just in the future. Well, I, I had oh, yeah. and goals. So. so if we're going to stick with this one, I would just say um, in the <coughs> course of the mission statement, changing globally competitive society, period, capitalize T, and say this mission will be pursued through a partnership with families and community rather than accomplished. I mean, because, you know, we hope it'll be accomplished, but I, I was hey, just offering up. Oh, Paige, I'm sorry, I lost where you were. Uh, I I you wait a minute. Oh, wait. I just have to say this statement is a mission statement, and it's in many places. If we're going to change the mission statement, we need to go through a process to do so and okay. then incorporate it in this book. I don't think this is the appropriate place to make a mission statement change. I think that's another process. Okay, well, first of I'm all, I'm not saying it's we shouldn't. Grammatically incorrect. It needs well, to be that, a period and then a capital that's T. That's why you fix the mission okay. statement through the process of fixing a mission statement and then okay. bring it back to this book. Okay. That's my opinion. Okay. This isn't the place to change a mission statement. It's in many places on That's the website. I said that we need that in the future. Magazine, um, isn't to... it in some of our handbook, right, our right. student handbook, okay. stuff, stuff right. like that? Well, then, in the core values of QACPS, <coughs> I suggest that equity and programming also be included in the core values. Well, I mean, I, well, again, okay. I think that's, well, a that's something for us all to think about. Yeah. But the, it's everywhere. Yeah. But the goals are different. So <clears throat> the goals that are on our strategic plan um, are the same as the, how we reported in the budget this year with okay. learning and accountability and that. So we can change this book yeah. to match All the, what things. we currently mm -hmm. have. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Get the mission right, statement changed, get the core values changed, get the goals changed, and then bring it all back to this book. Okay. So we will use what's in the strategic plan. Okay. Um, is the mission statement in the strategic it is. plan? It is. I believe I checked. I know I checked somewhere. It's exactly the same <coughs> as in our book. It, it is. But, so if we're going to do a change to the mission statement, I would consider that to be an activity we need to delve into and get it back in this book. Right, right. But right now we're going with what apparently the changes have been made over the time with, okay. with a strategic plan. Okay, that's fine. So I'm just assuming a strategic plan match this for now. Okay. And then we do still well, need a good receipt. Well, definitely, if the strategic plan has changed, right. we can change. Correct. All right. Right. So, Hopefully yeah, let's do the that. The mission Make it with proper English grammar. Its own thing. <laughs> with proper English grammar list. <laughs> yes, yes. Where's Joyce Jones when I need her? Okay. <laughs> Page uh, 15. Could I ask that the first paragraph, board members have authority only when acting as a board member of education in legally constituted session with a quorum being present rather than using a comma there? No. Put the word with. I know we don't. With a quorum being present? With a quorum okay. being present. Okay. I don't like the comma. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have one board member vacancy. It says the governor shall appoint a new member to fill any vacancy on the county board for the remainder of that term and until his successor is elected and qualifies. The next state sentence is, in the case of a vacancy on the county board, the governor shall appoint a qualified. That's kind of duplicated. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. We need to remove one of those. The second one, I mean, it's it's just a, it's redundant. Take the second one out? Yeah, take the second one out. So get rid of the second one? Is that yeah. what you said? I think that se second sentence, right. Um, and I believe the way I read it, it's a little hard to understand, but once I get the hang of it, um, we are in the situation of the last paragraph of the board member yes. vacancy now, right? Yes. Elections. But they have to. So when our out. new person comes in, they fulfill the entire four year or the rest the of their term. Yes. yes. But this wasn't an election year, so that isn't, we're not beyond that for this year. No, we were. We just served the Ms. remainder of the term. She we're going to shield. She just started. I, I know, but this says if it occurs before the deadline for candidates for the primary. We're not having a primary this year. We're not having anyone elected this year. 
Correct. So that right. paragraph so actually doesn't that, refer that paragraph to what we're kind of, in right now. We it, are in a. Well, it says if a vacancy occurs after fulfilling the deadline, after filing, for after filing, filing um, deadline for candidates. There was no deadline to file for this year because mm -hmm. there was no election this year. She, this there was is a, election last year. Last year. Yes. We are now we replacing just, a member who, who um, resigned in March. Right. If this was an election year, everyone who run it, wanted to run for that position in November would have applied in February to run. That is not the case we're in with it this still particular applies to year. It still applies that they the show completes her entire to tour. serve the remainder yes, of the yes, year. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's all but I'm it trying has to get a point. To, uh, is there, yeah, we are the getting. filing deadline and all that needs to stay the same. That, yeah. That's a I'm different not changing circumstance. It. I'm, just, okay. I'm just making a note that we will have three and a half years with whoever replaces Ms. O'Connor, even if next year is a vote, is a election year. I mean, next year. Oh, yes, we, yes, yes. <coughs> That's why I said that wasn't the case in this okay. situation. Anything else in 15? Okay, 16. I want to change one thing under oath of office swearing in. Um, each new board member shall appear before the clerk of the circuit court for Queen Anne's County. Instead of say prior to December 1st, I think we should say at or before the first meeting in December. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. we have those in Des the first meeting of December, they're usually yeah, and it happened that way with ours. Right, yes. that was past December first. So at at or before? before do you want to say by the first meeting in December? I would say yeah. <coughs> no, at no, by, by be at, at that meeting. By That's or at? Yeah, because it can't. I mean, if the election is in November, so by or at? I just said at or before. Okay, at or before. Either way, doesn't on matter. or before. At. Or before. Oh, on or before. Okay. Or before. On or before. I'm, That's a good term. I, I can't, I'm lost on the paper, no, but you're right. that, that didn't does sound right. <laughs> that sounds better. You're right. That's I think the sometimes wording. the paper and the December, verbiage is getting in our way. On or before. The board, the December board meeting. The first meeting in December. Okay. First meeting in yeah. December. Okay. Can I back up to page 15? No. Oh, yes. I'm just joking. Go ahead. <laughs> that very last sentence. Can we push that to the next page just yeah. so it's with the list of things that it's referring to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, and you got the honor. Yeah, because it kind of is out there. On or before the first meeting in December? Yeah. Um, shall appear before the circuit. Yeah. Because seating new board members is the next. On the first meeting in December. Yes. Mm -hmm. So oath of office and swearing in, and then the very next paragraph, seating new board members at the first meeting in December following blah, blah. Why can't all that just be put in the same? Each new board member shall appear before the clerk of circuit court. We're swearing in and being seated, so make it all one paragraph. You can't, but you have to say um, seating is a separate event. Yeah, but we did it all at the First same meeting. time. We have for the last yeah. how many times? Yeah. Both of office swearing in and seating new board members. Oh, yeah, okay, you can put it all together. It's fine. Just combine it. It's done, yeah. And get rid of this prior to December 1st. Now, that would be the case for an appointee. I believe when Carrie yeah, was appointed, she in. appeared before right. Scotty and then did get sworn in at the meeting. But No, but that's a good point. Elected, we, we, we are not. We aren't addressing somebody out of the norm right. under I, seating the board or swearing in. Well, I didn't appear before Scotty on December 1st. Well, that's why we're taking that out. Yeah, we yeah. changed okay. all that. Yeah, yeah putting that's that honor before, honor before the first meeting in December. For, um, but, but we probably need to put some kind of a statement in here about um, vacancy appointment. Vacancy, you know, out, out of a. Uh, well, it would be the same. One. Oh, no, because you would order. do it whenever they were right. whenever appointed they were. based on when the first one resigned. I mean, it could be in June. It just could happened be. Carrie's was in December. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, I guess we should uh, do a oath of office swearing in for a vacant, for an appointee filling a vacancy. Yeah, we need to write Make it uh, a something different up about well, paragraph. Board member vacancy, then I suggest, and that goes in that column. The oath of office and the swearing of office in for that and for there. a board member vacancy happens when? Mm, I would put it under the oath of office swearing in as a vacancy appointment rather than sticking it over here under vacancy. 
the vacancy discusses how that okay transpires. so oath of office swearing in and then just put board of office vacancy uh, swearing in make a new line vacancy swearing a pointy in. swearing in uh, or like out, of, out of cycle appointees vacancy appointee that's what they are they're they're being appointed to a vacancy vacancy appointee swearing in has a third paragraph Mm -hmm. Swearing in and seating. Oath of office swearing in of vacancy appointees. And seating. Swearing yeah. in and seating. Okay. Are we going to combine that for the other, yeah, the other ones too? Mm -hmm. yes. So it'll read the same, basically, right. other than the December 1st. But it does have for to the be vacancies, there. it's not always going to be yeah. December 1st. So that's the only... So what, what, how, how soon would we... Within a month, or how do we? I believe say from the time after? they're appointed, they are sworn in the next meeting immediately with the county clerk, and then formally in the next meeting. I'm pretty sure Carrie appeared with Scotty. I did. I'd I did have it. to ask her. I did. But we weren't appointed. I, oh, I, you were. I, I That's I, right. Back in the I day, went, you were. I did it in the in a board meeting. Um, so we that would the preclude next them meeting. We from say the next board meeting. Well, what if the next board meeting is a work session? Well, that's a board no. meeting. You can do or you, you mean regular open session board meeting? I would, I would clarify it as open session. Right. First meeting of the month. Like but then what if they're appointed the on the second day of the month and you've had no, your appointment hold. already and you've got to wait a whole month can and still, they can't come? They can still come to a work session. I mean, and they, you could mm -hmm. always, you could you always, always the give the public notice that you want to have a meeting you know, an emergency meeting or whatever, so that you may swear in this person. Special meeting. So that, right, a special meeting so that they can go ahead and fully <coughs> participate in whatever. But I think work that's why up. this paragraph says each new board member shall appear before the clerk of court for Queen Anne's County prior to December 1st. In November, the election comes about. They get their formal swearing in in our first December meeting. That could be December 3rd, December 7th, December 14th, whatever, based on when the proclamation comes down. That's why mine was delayed a week. But I believe this December 1st date for being sworn in with the clerk needs to take place, especially if they're not going to do our, we're not going to do our little ceremony until the 14th in the appointment process they need to be sworn in as soon as they find out they've been appointed appointed and the proclamation gets here and then we can have a celebration ceremony why don't we just say at the we next will, meeting we will um just they cannot serve if they have not been sworn in correct. they cannot come to these meetings but you swear in you, know, <coughs> you can do it no reason you can't do it by a special meeting just have a special meeting or we, we instead of identifying when maybe we should say you know well for the vacancy we can't identify when because everybody you, will be at a different time we swore in uh annette jennifer and arlene not at our regular meeting we did an emergency meeting ahead of time in order to get under the december 1st there's a reason so, this says this i don't know exactly why so we there we, is we, a reason we had a special meeting to right. swear them in and then we seated them at the first men that's meeting in December and so I'm pretty sure happened. Carrie appeared with Scotty that's why seating is after is different okay then leave yeah. it just leave it alone then um, because that is separate issues but seating. your vacancy appointment you don't want that December 1st date in there no, no. you don't. it's going We're to be not. based on We're whenever not. they are right. so we agree. need another sentence applying to solely to yep. the vacancies yep. it's fine and my what we need to say is something like and as soon as possible. As soon as, 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 soon as, as the soon proclamation. As soon as, as, soon as the proclamation is as as swearing in can happen. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. That's fine. We'll make it as soon as the appointment is. Miss Jackie, down here at the bottom, um, if we can continue, stupid student members, unless invited to attend, that that last line can you be put to the next page, and I would highly recommend, the student board members may not attend an executive session of the county board nor attend a closed session of the board. Um, just combine those two lines instead of, I mean, it's kind of redundant. Where's um, that? Where's that? Right well, here. unless invited to attend by an affirmative vote of the majority of the county board, the student members may not attend an executive session nor attend a closed session of the board. 
Just combine. Okay. And then just an executive session or closed session. I Correct. think Correct. that's the way it should go. Yeah. And then then take that one, third, one, two, two yes. three, third the sentence. Fourth down. sentence down, the student representative shall attend the monthly board meetings, period. The rest of that has already been said. Invited if wait, invited wait, to do wait, so. Wait, wait. Page you on. Table 17. 17. Yeah, take that Go out because we're what never going to do that, are we? What was that? I'm sorry. Here, babe. Um, okay. So if you put those two sentences together, and then the fourth one down says the student representatives shall attend the monthly board business meetings, period. All those one paragraph, all three of those that sentences. That is a period there. Okay, but well, the rest of it, if Take invited out. to do so by a majority, that needs to be taken out. It's already Take been said. Okay. Yeah. It was just, it okay, was just, yeah, you're it right. It was just redundant. Um, keep in mind that some counties do give their student oh, members fine. a vote. That's fine. And that's why they attend those Well, sometimes. that's why it says it. But here. ours doesn't. Ours so says, unless yeah. invited to attend by Our affirmative should. vote of the majority. It covers all of that. I thought we were taking that sentence out. No, we're, we're just combining the two sentences where it says they may the closed session and the executive sessions. Just combine that, unless invited to do so. Uh, it, we, and also um, working sessions. I mean, there's no reason they can't come to a working session if they want to. Um, I, but secret. again, that they it says the student representatives. Uh, may it shall attend monthly board business meetings. So that could include the work sessions. I mean, it covers all of them. Well, as our schedule is defined, it doesn't. We define business right. meeting as our first monthly That's meeting and, and then work put session it on as there. our third. Well, what you're doing is shall attend. You're telling them that they are going to attend our workshops by including the workshops on and there. And they're in school. And you can't do that. I don't think we should. No, I don't mean shall. I'm saying they're and they're welcome or something like that. They can they can also attend work sessions. I would leave it just the way it is. It covers the business Meet. monthly business meeting, meeting only. Right. Okay. But there's no restriction down here. No. So if they want to come, we can say they can come. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. We don't want right. to make it mandatory for them. No, no. I don't. By saying not. shall, that means they have to. Yeah, I understand. I wasn't going to say wanna, under shall. I, I don't like, want to shall. I was talking about a whole separate sentence. Um, uh, but we just leave it out. If I you would want. just leave it out altogether. Any other questions on 17? Okay, 18. I had something on 18. At the bo very bottom, the last two bullets. Um, let's see. I, I want to clarify in here what superintendent can do for a hiring people and what we do for in hiring people. I think it's still unclear. Um, we cannot interfere in the employment process by which superintendent nominates administrative and supervisory employees for appointment, right? What's administrative? I mean, all this, all the secretaries in the building, I think it's a little... Administ administration is leaders. Just leaders, so um, administration. But where are you? Where okay. are you? I'm okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Third one up is not interfere with the employment process by which superintendent nominates employees for appointment by the county board. We don't... We don't oh, do that, do but, not do that, but we shouldn't right. do that. So that should stay in there. We should not interfere in the employment process by which the superintendent nominates employees for appointment to the county board. We should not appointment be by, the that. County, well, we by the county. By the county board it. confuses me. Well, You're saying we are approving it, and that's, that's the executive team too. So, so when you say county, are you thinking like not the school board? Do you think in Queen Anne's County? I think the intent, I think, was probably the the school board. Oh the county school board. Um, then why don't we say school board rather than county? Well, it says we will not interfere in the employment process by which you nominate employees for appointment. By the you say the school it. board. We are the school board. No, by, by the county board should be crossed off. Yes. Yes. And take we that don't completely interfere. out. So just yes. take, see what I mean? Yeah. Just take out appointment. Because you're kind of contradicting yourself. Take out by the county board. Okay. You're kind of contradicting yourself by putting yeah, it in there. That's okay. what I meant. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the next one, I think we should be in there. I'd like to add one: not interfere in the employment process um, 
where the superintendent has sole authority to hire. Wait, 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 Isn't that covered wait, wait, wait. by what you just said? Mm -hmm. I think that's covered. It, it is. It is. You don't need to have a second line being redundant. A and we have that we support the employment. You're right. All right. Okay. Never mind. I think I wrote that in a couple times. But it's always been confusing to a lot of us because we do approve the HR report. So when a new employee shows up on the HR report, we approve that. But what are we approving? But they we're are already the usually we're, we're on staff. Yeah, so we're why would we be asked to approve something I think, that we may not? I think by Comar, we're only supposed to be approving the administration and supervisory. That's all we approve. You hire who you want to hire. Correct. That's why I don't know why we so have when to we approve, approve that. The HR report. We're, we think it looks like we're approving everything. Yeah. But we don't have it, to approve everything. And everything is on it. Yeah. Everything is on it. It's always right. been a conflict. It's I always make been sure a question. That so we need to we'll go back and look at Comar language and That's a great make idea. this match Comar. Great is idea. that what you're doing? And define or it. Or what we could do that. is you delineate it on the HR report. Supervisory administration. For information for right. approval. Can I right. Something like that, because it, I think we this has always been a problem. So if I, if I if I may, so at the top of this, those bullet points here, board members further agree. As a member of my local board of education, I will strive to improve publication, uh, public education, and to that end, I will. As a member of the local board of education, not my. Mm -hmm. I will strive to improve. So this, this is talking first person here, going through here, mm -hmm. such as those sponsored by my state and national school boards. Um, I would say the state and national school boards of association. Oh, wait, well, where are you now? Point one, two, three, four, okay. five, six, seven, eight, one down. By the state and national. Mm -hmm. um, I just take the whole first person thing. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, yeah. Avoid being placed in a position of conflict of interest yeah. and refrain from using the board or it says my board sponsored by the uh, from state using, and national school no i guess mine should stay there my board position for personal gain we can say the that's fine from using refrain from using the board position for personal report. probably should say my board position on that one yeah leave the first person in that yeah because yeah. it is my board position and i should not be using it for personal gain right that's fine, I think. Should we extrapolate on conflict of in uh, conflicts of interest? Well, that's what we have an ethics policy yeah, for. Yeah, that's in my ethics panel. Right okay. Next to it. So the ethics policy, should we refer to it in this section? I would not. Okay. Um, then you're going to put yourself in the position to refer to every policy that might be regarding any of the stuff okay. in the book. Okay. I was just saying we did that for Are we clear policy on, on policies. Do you have anything else on 18? Uh, but we no, didn't call it. it policy on policy. Okay. We mirrored it. Yeah. Okay. Very good. good. Okay, 19, ethics panel. Got one? I got one to add. Need one. Anybody? <laughs> Any Can we anybody to reply? Yet? I don't know. Yep. Jeez. No responses. Wow. We should start, start talking to the Chamber of Commerce, Tammy, and see if we can get some takers. I wanted to add a bullet at the end of that one to uh, review all required QACPS final disclosure forms and provide the board input concerning conflicts of interest and any other potential ethical violation. We don't have a process to do that for all of our employees? All of our employees do not yeah. complete a... Well, I mean all the ones that do complete no. the form. Well, they're supposed to. It's just there not delineated be, in their job here. There should be... That's what they're going to be doing. Some kind of a checks and balances. Correct. There is not a, just for us, but for is. our employees who also have to fill this okay. form. Okay, so say this years. again. <laughs> to review all... <coughs> review all required... I believe... UACPS financial disclosure forms and provide the board input concerning conflicts of interest and any other potential ethical violation. I think we need to look into this because I think there is, I don't want to say a Comar regulation, I think there's a guideline somewhere about those disclosures and what the process is once they've been filled out. It might be under an employee you know. policy. Well, I since don't know. This is, we need to look that since up. Since this is the board's ethic pilot panel, I would suggest that they only review the board members' mm -hmm. financial disclosures. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I don't. That this is. This I, is I think whoever this is views the employees' disclosures because we are supposed to have a process for that should do does. ours. The oh, the ethics committee does panel. the staff they, too. They do okay. all of them. They okay. Do all this of them. ethics panel also does all of them. staff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Then okay. they should just say to review all require all QACPS financial disclosures not required. Take out the word required. But this is really okay. only about the board. Okay. I don't think you have to list the staff here. This, this no, just is all QACPS financial disclosures, period. But, but you're oh, because you're defining the ethics panel. Right, right. Okay. right. And, and okay. report any okay. conflicts of interest conflict and any of other interest. potential ethical violations. There you go. And report. Okay. okay. I'm fine with that. Any conflict of interest and what? Conflict of interest and, and any ethics. other potential ethics violations. Some of those are judgment calls, so they may be potential. H20. Well done, everyone. We're doing good here. So under educational, uh, Board of Education priorities, that is one long compound sentence. So. Mm. The Board of Education has control over educational matters that affect the county, comma, take out the word and, promote the interests of schools under its jurisdiction, comma, adopts a comprehensive master plan to guide the school system, and that's where it should, it should say and, and adopts. That way it's exactly what has control over. It's control over education matters that affect the county, comma, promote the interests of the school system and its jurisdictions, comma, and adopt a comprehensive master plan to guide the school system. That's what it is. There we go. It's a beautiful thing. Um, I'm not sure about that. They have control over education matters, comma. They promote the interest of school under its jurisdiction, comma. That's a separate I know, but it's, it could all be, this is all the things that we do, comma, promote, comma, and adopts a comprehensive master plan. All right, plan. That's, that'll work then. Okay. okay. What we do. Adopt, yep. All the things we do. Are those semicolons instead of commas? They are commas. Commas. Semicolon is variant. When, it's a long description of what they have to do. Well, it's just. It, that would be a semicolon in my mind. We won't. Well, semicolon, I'll go you're a right writing English person. <laughs> Let me get Joyce on the phone. Go ahead and put a semicolon. Okay, anybody else on 20? Okay, we'll hit 21 and then we'll take a break. Oh, wait a minute, 20. I had it's a continuation. Question. Under responsibilities and duties, duties as schools. Yeah, Super we've got some things there that we've Superintendent of Schools responsible okay. for the administration of his or her office and carries out the laws, bylaws, and but policies. You, where are you? Where are you? Under, under responsibilities and duties. Page 20. Okay, got it carries out the bylaws policies of the county board of education and state and federal laws should not not include that where are you laws. Okay, laws. Laws. Bullet, bylaws. bylaws it's all mission in there oh, i don't even know that we have bylaws it, was, it says I've not been laws. Able to put my hand laws but the board I've of education searched. doesn't have laws I've asked. Yeah. no one sees yeah i don't know if we have bylaws they don't that's exist. what i like, we have policies and we have but I don't oh, think okay. we have, I don't think we have bylaws. Bylaws. I've never seen bylaws. Uh, I've so looked. We don't I've have laws. asked. I don't think we do. There's no bylaws. And yeah, we don't have laws either. We, I mean, the board itself. Right. It yeah. carries out the laws. No. No, the board does not have laws. No, right. that's what I'm saying. Well, oh, we carry is, them out this is based what, on this is what is inaccurate. What they are. That's why I'm so asking. I guess it's the I guess it's the grammar. So yeah, it's yeah. the grammar. It's to state, carry out the state, state local federal, federal laws. State right. local federal laws. Bylaws. Semicolon. You don't have any bylaws. And the policies of the county board of education. Yeah. There we go. Well, we probably don't <coughs> even need to have the semicolon if we don't have three things and they're not okay. commas in between. There are no state or local right. bylaws either. There's no such thing. Nope. Okay. Yeah, no. So I can say yeah. state. She was rooting for the semicolon with me. Oh, well, <laughs> we got to take that out. <laughs> Go ahead. Though. It's not going to work. And federal local, laws. state, and federal laws. Comma and policies. Policies of the county board of education. So, could we not take all the responsibilities and duties that we just did in the evaluation and 
put them in here or just leave what's no. here? No. Okay, no. okay, okay, okay. All right, but just leave it alone. For some reason, I have the next one, the fourth one, flagged, informs the board in advance of administrative reorganizations, including transfers of functions, establishment of positions and offices, and consolidation of positions and offices. It's and just, It's just inform. It's not approve. We don't ever get informed until we are asked to approve the HR report. Yeah, but she still informs us, so... In advance. Through the, through the HR. Yeah, it's fine. Now, this is reorganizations, transfer of functions, establishing, esta yeah, establishing positions, consolidating positions. Yeah, That's this is not appointment yeah, of people. Right. This is relative to this restructuring, reorganizing. I, I wonder if we flagged that to take that out, to remove well, that. Yeah, but because it's contract. your function. Right. But they're, they're, but they're talking about what the superintendent's responsibilities include. Not all inclusive or anything like that, but that would be something that the superintendent is responsible for. Right. Okay. I've got the last two flagged, too. The next one why. down proposes annual operating capital budgets. Could I, I suggest taking out the word proposes, puts develops and presents the annual operating and capital budgets to the Board of Education and the County Commissioners. But it is a proposal until we approve it. But she proposes she well, it she to us. She develops it and presents it. Add, you can add that. She proposes. Well. Develops and presents. And I would put in the County Commissioners. Um. Mm. She that one it. has to be approved by us so that by the time that's not what this not what this bullets is for is that's the mat matter of fact that the superintendent develops it and then proposes it or presents it to us as a proposal uh, I, yeah I, I get it I so get it. I don't think we need to define it any more than that because until we adopt it it's still a proposal until we approve it for presentation it's still a proposal so it develops and proposes that's all right. right. That's fine. Okay. To the county and to us and the county commissioners. I, okay. Yeah, to, to, to county government, I would say. Well. I had a uh, advise us the BOE. So Mr. P found some information about with uh, regard to Comar. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ms. P. Yep, so this is uh, Section 4103, the Annotated Code on School Personnel. A, the appointment and salary on the written recommendation of the county superintendent and subject to the provisions of this article, each county board shall, one, appoint all principals, teachers, and other certified and non-certified personnel, and two, set their salaries. Non-certified personnel? What's that? S certified and non-certified. Yep. So on the written so recommendation, the, the county subject board to the does that. Each county board shall yeah. approve it. Okay. We approve that. What's non-certified then? As in no, everybody else. Everybody else. else. <laughs> everybody else. That's right. Everybody else. So everybody like, else doesn't the whole fall under. Right. We have to. Well, and no, that's we, what we present uh, to you. That's what, that's what we report. present right. to you. That's anyway. what I mean. But we do, we. But don't. we have some teachers who come in without a certification, and they have a period of time to get that. Correct. So there yeah, would we be try not to go there, but yeah, right. but, but we have done it in the past. Mm -hmm. So the way mm -hmm. this is reading, it's every employee, right? Because it right. says certified and non-certified. So it's so the language here is right. Yeah. Okay. But read that again. What is it? What do you, one more time, Greg? Sure. The appointment and salary on the written recommendation of the county superintendent and subject to the provisions of this, this article, each county board shall one appoint all principals, teachers and other certified and non-certified personnel and two set their salaries so we appoint them so we do have a say in whether but they're but i think that's what we do when we approve the hr report yeah i'm just she saying she hires them no. we don't do that and well that's what it's saying it. oh, well maybe appointing is different than yeah. that's so. our process of approving the hr report that's our so on the recommendation of the superintendent I recommend to you that you approve these items or these uh, personnel for whatever positions that they have. Mm -hmm. The way that we've been doing it is the right way. Yes. No, I understand the medium of making that happen. All I'm saying is what I was thought, we would have a say and agree or not agree with you on administrators and um, certificated. But 
everybody else, we don't have a say on it. So, I mean, I don't know what the technicality is. or I don't want to have a say on it. I'm just saying that's always been a source well, of confusion. I don't confusion. think we have a say on any of it because it comes to us as an oh, HR okay. report that we approve. Have a say on you she's and your already, good judgment. She's it, done her right. judgment. And, and, and it's also written yeah. in my contract. Right, right. Yeah. And we have agreed further to not mm -hmm. interfere. No, in I just want to make sure that's clear because in the past there's been some discussion that we would have some control over Supervisors. Well, no, the question was, why are we approving after the fact, after they've already been hired and started working and probably even had a paycheck? It was more that than... Oh, I, well, that was interpreted hey, ladies, we are getting as, close into a closed session I understand. discussion, so... I, no, we're not. I'm just trying to understand what right we have and what right you have, and I want to make sure. So bottom line is for ev everybody, we do not tell the superintendent... We don't want her to hire somebody. We don't agree with whatever. But the way we express that is when we take a superintendent and we do their marks and they think they didn't have good judgment. So we don't have the ability, any superintendent. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We wait don't wait have minute. the ability to say, no, you that. can't hire that person. You I can, want to make sure that's clear. You can choose to approve or not, not to approve, approve exactly. the that's HR report, which is my recommendation and, for who <clears throat> I want to hire. And there's a line item. We could go line item if we, ha if we wanted to. We could approve it that way. Okay. So technically, then, we could disapprove somebody's hiring. Yes. Okay. I never realized that. Okay. That's something new. Okay. We take a break. They take a break. Mm -hmm. Taking a break. Um, Everett. Okay, welcome back. Um, we're up to page 21, and uh, I had um, that was where I ha it was written in recommends that whereas the superintendent recommends the appointment of admin and supervisory personnel to the Board of Education for its approval. So I think we need to remove that if we are not approving anybody's. Oh, um, um, oh yeah. Woman, is that still under? No, it says but whether that's, by discrete personnel. That's actions, still from superintendent. Still okay. Superintendent. It's still under superintendent, honey. That's Recommends still there. The appointment of yeah. I think we need to pull that out instead of highlighting that. Because that is subsumed in the other one. Right. Okay. So that rule comes out. Um, that, no. Where are we? We're going to remove it? Remove that. The second to the last bullet. Second to the last bullet. Page 21, Sharon. True. <clears throat> okay, that was my only change in that. I don't know. I think that we've got... Okay, I mean, that's page tw 22. And then in, that, in this one, the first paragraph, Board of Education members' attendance at ceremonies. One, two, three. The fourth line down, it says, the number of commencements attended will be proportionate for each member. That can come out. That comes out. We, we all go to all of them, both of them, all both of them. <laughs> so, Wait a minute. Can we go back to page 21? Why are we taking out recommends the appointment of administrative and supervisory personnel from the superintendent's responsibility? Because it's already there. For its approval, for us to approve. It says, um, that's part of it. We don't need to put that in there oh, because we've also <coughs> already said it in, um, what was her... Anyhow, that we agreed that in. You know what? That's the HR report. You know what? I think we got where look we this had up. it. Yeah, where we had it before, where we just read from Comart, that is under a different section. That was under the Code of Ethics section, mm -hmm. and we were talking about not interfering in the employment process, and we wanted to make sure it matched Comart. You could leave this in uh -huh. here, and then. But for this one, I think it needs to stay. Yeah, 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 I think it does need to stay because it does not. Because that's, because that's her that responsibility, and the report we get a we get yeah, to right. approve. HR report. Yep. Yeah, but it, we're specifying good. administrative and supervisory. If we're going to say it, then we ought to but say, we did say recommends it, we? the appointment of rec of personnel. All of this them. is the right. superintendent. Yeah, it's I understand I, that. I, she I recommends think the appointment. I think it needs to stay. Well, we, I don't think we should say specifically administrative and supervisory because they just read Comar and she recommends the appointment of, of all hirees. 
not just supervisory administrative. That was what ran into Well, maybe confusion. add the rest then. Whatever we said in the one for ethics. We could say recommends. Certified and non-certified. Add, add the additional. Why don't we just say recommends the appointment of personnel, of personnel. Mm -hmm. to the Board of Education for its approval. And I don't like this whether by discrete personnel actions. I don't, like I don't even know what that means. Just say by way of a monthly personnel report. Fine. Of personnel <coughs> to the Board of Education for its approval. So I got approved by the board. You want to leave those in there? Approval by way of a by way of a monthly <coughs> personnel. Report. So three things on and, and it's approval. Report. By way of a monthly personnel report, period. Period. Yeah, sorry. Right. But we don't yeah. see contractual employees and things like that on the personnel report. That's probably why this says discrete personnel actions. You have the ability to hire some people yeah, but we don't that see we don't even we... see the list or have anything to do with. So I think that's what that means. I just leave it myself. I I'm afraid that maybe this was dictated by. Comar? No, we just okay. read Comar. It's not okay. There. Okay. Right. I don't know why. Board's approval there. at the monthly at the monthly personnel report. All right. That's it. It's a twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two. I just wanted to take out the number of commencements. Does anybody have anything else on twenty-two? Down the bottom where it says president. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Performs other duties prescribed by law or requested by the board just needs okay. to add that one word yeah <clears throat> any more in 22 <clears throat> where was where was that that you just, just down at the bottom under president under just performs the duties prescribed F, by law F. okay or F. requested by the board so are we leaving it performs other duties described yeah. prescribed okay yeah. and yes. adding the and word requested by, by the board by okay Page 23. Um, I would like to ask that we change the format for agendas to include. Are you on 23? I'm on channel. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on 24. I apologize. 23. No. All right. 23. Um, <clears throat> I would like to go down to work sessions as needed or held third Wednesday of each month take out the time because that could vary based on the board and the second bullet um, it says two budget work sessions in January I think we ought to remove that and say additional budget work sessions will be scheduled as needed because we're gonna have more and we'll add that to the two in I January would, yes. no, you, you, you got to have something to start that additional well now I say two budget work sessions in January and make and a third additional. bulletin. But we've had bulletin. three budgets in January. So we did, but we have to right. have at least two. You so got to have the to yeah. say you're going to add additional. You got to tell them what you're adding it to, and that's the first two that have pretty. This is the thing to be careful of. This whole thing about changing time too. I, I think the this is a notification to the community mm -hmm. <coughs> per per <coughs> OMA Act guidelines. Mm -hmm. So if we make a mistake <clears throat> well, up in and the don't do meeting, our diligence, no. we don't have it here to fall back on as in well, print. Then up in the business meeting, we don't have a time and no times. Um, and I just. Uh, Maybe we that's what we need to do, put times in that <coughs> too. It all can be changed as long as you do it in the pre previous business meeting. That's well defined. But. Uh, I'm just telling you, there's been times where we haven't posted a meeting well, we at the right time. I just think the time yeah. that should come out, it should be at the discretion that's, and the availability of the yeah. of the board members. And as long as we give them plenty enough notice as to when the board, when the time is, right. I think the 11 o'clock should come out as well. But to add another bullet under there, work sessions as needed, spec as held as specified below, unless notice to the contrary is given at a previous business meeting. Those two bulletins are fine, except for the 11 o'clock. So what are two budget, I'm sorry. What, we we need to have two budget work sessions in January. And then work at, sessions as needed. As but then we have work sessions, work sessions as, needed. as needed. Okay, so if we add more. Okay. If we, we have say more, we, did, we always have more than, gen, than two Yes, we can have more on the agenda. <clears throat> okay. But the third right. Wednesday of each month is mandatory. We just determine the time. Take out the time. Okay. Um, and then I down on agenda and board materials. 
Um, agenda will be prepared. So here's what we're going to do is there's a little confusion even now. We're, we're going to develop the um, agenda. Um, you all know you can have input to it, and we'll develop it all week up to Thursday on the private. Okay, well, well let's just do this right now. Okay. okay. We could, that's, that's a matter of regulation. I mean. Okay. So let's and just. And then Friday, according to this, we're, we have to publish it on, we're going to be publishing it according to this on Friday. Jack, is there any way to get the word president added to that last line? Or just push the. Or push that push whole, whole section. Okay, we'll, we'll put it yeah, all push together. the whole section. Yeah, that's just. Okay, thank you. The other part I have on agenda is prepared for each meeting. Board members may submit items for consideration for placement on the agenda to the president and or the superintendent. Please add that in. Ooh, I don't think that's right. It's only to the president. You can go to the superintendent. We can't. You, we Correct. go through you. Correct. Only well, to the, the president. superintendent develops the agenda. We do but not, you, as a member, go to the superintendent. The we go to you. The superintendent develops the agenda, though. Yes, and then but the president speaks to it. So about it's a yes, collaborative yes. agreement. But, but the us individual board members do not. Go we to go the to you. Super, okay, we go fine. to you, and you it's go fine. to the superintendent. Wait, we fine. go to the president. make it easy. Right. Or, okay. Okay, the first line in the first paragraph, the deadline for submitting items for inclusion on the agenda for business meetings is 10. Mm -hmm. And then three... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said something. Three. Should be 10 or is it three? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, it's marked out. It was supposed to be three. It's just three. It's three marked is, out. 10 was way too far ahead. Three is too short because that's that's like Saturday. And we've already put the agenda Well, out. you can't do it on a Saturday. It's a exactly. business day. I'm just saying Correct. it's. it's I'm, I'm telling you, this is. I've got it written in my book that we changed it from 10, parentheses, three, to T H R E E, parentheses, three. Ten was a misprint, apparently. Three is three is to too three. too late. I think three is too short time too frame short. because we have to have this out on that Friday. Yes. Well, you have to have this in three days before that Friday. Okay. Well, I don't yeah. see it doesn't where it says that. It doesn't it says say before that, the date of the business meeting, yeah. which is a Wednesday. Correct. So three days would be Sunday. We can't we can't post anything on that Sunday. That's that's miswritten then. So it should say five. It means three days ahead of the Friday deadline of the agenda. Okay, well, that's not what's here. So. Yeah, we, we. So, what is a good time? A good time would be um, probably by Wednesday. And that way, everybody can look at it on Thursday on the private one. We'll get it on Thursday, and when it's well, and that's three days prior minute. to the Friday before the meeting. And Just write it that way. Three days prior to the and Friday then before the meeting. Friday, it goes out public. Oh, but you know what? You can't say the Friday before because the monthly meetings don't all fall on. Yes, a Wednesday. Yes, they do. Ours do. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Question. Oh, they do. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's what you need to say. Three days prior to the Friday. Prior to the meeting. The prior Friday to the meeting. The meeting. Three Friday days. Friday prior to the meeting. Yeah. What if, why don't we just say one week before the meeting? Now, is that seven days or is that five business days? Is that a Monday? I mean, just define it. Well, it is. It's seven days. So one week would be like well, that would be by a Sunday. Wednesday. Wednesday of one week, the meeting's on a Wednesday. So five business days. Five business days. Say that. Day, Thank Monday, you. Monday, Friday, Thursday. Okay. The seven would be a Sunday. Five business <clears throat> days. Or Saturday. <coughs> five business days prior to the date of the business meeting. Okay. So that would be that. Well, then that's that a Thursday. Be that. That'd be that Wednesday. It'd be that Wednesday. Prior to Tuesday, Monday, Saturday, Thursday. I'm Wednesday. telling you. Yeah, that five days. It puts it back to Thursday. Something can come up within a five-day period that needs to go on an agenda. Then we just we are do, cutting ourselves. Then doing we it, then we do an, an amend an amend amendment, an amendment to, to the agenda. agenda to include that. Right. Because we have to have it published on Friday. And right. So we, I mean, we always, not always, but we have. You can make amendments. So for the format for the agenda, could we like possibly we incru right. include we do that. Mm -hmm. all the time policy instead of individual individual action items? Make policy its own part of the format. Only only reason why I ask this is we have so many policies that need to be addressed. Mm -hmm. I would like, and maybe I'm wrong and asking it here, but I want I, I really want if we don't have policies that month, that's great. But at least we have. Placeholder. A placeholder well, we just generally for do have policies every month, don't we? And we will. We have been. 
Or do you think or it just least covers under individual resent. action li items? Well, it is, it is, if we're bringing it here for uh, asking for <clears throat> first read or if we're asking for approval, then it's an action. Okay. But otherwise, it's really information. Mm -hmm. So when we move a policy to the second read, that's really information. Yeah. We don't need approval on that. So having it uh, having its own bulletin as a public policy, including it in the format, or you just well, want to leave it under action item? Wait a minute. I don't understand it's what you're asking. We do have them out on the website as a public format. Okay. I'll leave it alone. I was just, Why we put them out for read? I was only... We put them under action. You just want to put some emphasis okay. on it. I, I yeah. understand. Yeah, I I'm, understand. just because we have so much. Mm. And we won't always have no, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. policies. Yeah. I would yeah. draw. Any more on 24? Okay, 25. Is this, uh, is this what we finally did agree to, right? Three minutes for individuals yes. and five for organizations, right? Yeah. That's what we currently have. Yeah. Okay. I and it shows that, that everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So I know at one to. point didn't there was two different. To. You're right. right. Okay. So let's just still keep our eye open for it just to be on the safe side. And then I had a question down here at the very bottom, second paragraph up, the very end, we say decisions at quasi-judicial hearings shall be based on a simple majority vote of those members present at the hearing. In other words, two out of three, if three were there. And I need to check with Darren about that. Is that, in fact, legal? You see what I'm saying there? Okay. Brother. But if there's only two of two of us at a meeting, it wouldn't be. Can't have a meeting with no, us. It wouldn't be a meeting. But three is a, is a three is a quorum. It's a quorum. A simple but majority would be two. To sit, to sit, yes, two out of three vote for that. So there's no. So it doesn't fit the. No. What we've been taught. So I will verify with him if that's correct or not. Make sure it's correct. And that next line. Yeah, that is correct. The unless page. something requires a super majority, and that's a different number yeah but this and your something would dig would dictate it requires a supermajority not all votes will require a supermajority well that was different than what we learned in the OMA so I just want to make that's sure that's what Darren told us that straight from the OMA <coughs> training mm -hmm. okay what did you have uh, Tim just wanted to pay the for next slide line down for okay, sorry. moving it over okay 26 I didn't have anything. I had down number five. A superintendent is responsible for recording minutes of each closed session. The board will strive to approve them. If the superintendent is not there, then a board member will take the minutes. I'd rather take away the board member will take minutes and just say the superintendent or his or her designee is responsible for recording minutes. Well, because her executive secretary does do that. Yeah. Well, I know. So that whole last line could yeah. come out. Right. Yeah, right. Right. The last the, line comes the board out. Clerk, she's right. responsible for them. Yeah. But she's okay. not handwriting them. She wouldn't be able to participate in the meeting and do that. I know. That's yeah. Fine. But or I don't think the board designee. members should take minutes. I no. think no. the superintendent no. or or her or his or her designee. Or just slash designee. Or designee, yeah. We'll take the minutes. But in in reality in um Ms. Wright's role as the board clerk, uh, she's taking the minutes. Right. Because the superintendent really is functioning in multiple roles right. as, secretary. as secretary. Yes. Right. But do you want to just put in there? You just want to put on there the executive secretary or the executive clerk? Or, or the board clerk. clerk. Or the board clerk. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll take the minutes. That's fine. So, so <laughs> just sorry. to be clear, yes, so <laughs> what happens is if Miss Wright is not present, she'll ask another executive secretary in okay. the building yeah. to take care of okay. the minutes. Yeah, that would not be appropriate to put that responsibility physically right. on you. Or, or a board but member. You know what I thought they were actually trying to get at? The actual recording and documentation and and archiving of. Uh, I'm thinking uh, that they were saying that as opposed to uh, actually writing. Uh -huh. But that's not what they said. <clears throat> okay. 
second. 27. Mm -hmm. uh, on these, um, <clears throat> and correct me if I'm wrong, Dr. Kane, when staff prepares written reports to the board, here are the following policies. A after each one of these, there needs to be a semicolon, and then after state the state the recommendation of staff semicolon and keep the staff keep the report I'm only just putting in the proper is so that, is that semicolons after them or well just only if we are c making it like one complete sentence but as it's written it couldn't be one complete sentence okay. because the last bullet is two sentences there correct okay so it's just a comma after each one we, we could actually leave it like it is. don't put anything after them, I don't think, but These you do need a period items, at like the a back. Okay, got it. Uh, after possible, That's you'll need a period after that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And then board docs at the very bottom push to the Needs to be right. pushed. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Which may all change once she gets this refill yeah. method. To 28. I have a few on there. Um, very top, communication with board members to staff. Uh, request for information by board members, I should say, shall be directed to the superintendent. And when acting in their capacity as a member of the board. Then I wanted to add another one. Board members may directly contact staff when acting in the capacity as a parent no requiring information regarding their own children oh i'm sorry i haven't even gotten there i'm still looking at something else okay so request for information by board members shall be directed to the superintendent exceptions to this provisions are as follows the information requested requested involves the board members own children that's succinct enough yeah i think it is it doesn't need to be changed except for the word shall right instead of may it right. is shall okay we can leave it then. I just want to make sure it was clear. Can, may I go back to page 30, 28? Mm -hmm. So re record of board meetings. So are we That's doing... That's where I was reading <laughs> to. Are we doing DVDs? Because we're at, um, this is accessible online now. So we, we aren't doing we that. We don't. We? Do we, Jeff? We just do videos and post them to online, social yeah. media. So DVDs could come so, out. So... Um, we done. could we say videos on. because we put the videos as an attachment in our you could be meeting list and on our website. We could just change DVD we to... We could say videos of the media. meetings uh -huh. are available online. There you go. Mm -hmm. hey, we'll air on QAC TV and the and board's face and the board's... On, on demand. And on demand. Yeah. And Facebook page. Yep. Yeah. So we could put that all on there. They're available on demand, you said? On demand, online. Uh, how on demand is that? What is? How is that on demand? YouTube. It's not live. It's yeah, live. yeah. Hmm. And then on uh, the uh, board's Facebook page. And accessible. Or the QACPS Facebook page. Because I know they post some there too. Yeah, but I don't so think we have to define on, that. They're live on QACTV. No, 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 no. This is telling us we have to keep a record. And I know for a fact. No, I know, but Facebook isn't your record. You're just taking your record and placing it in social media. Your record is your audio and your video. That's what it's about. And okay. control paragraph. over it. Okay. Maintain that actual, records. That actual. So where it's found item. is not okay. Got it. Be recorded. Um, uh, so t the videos of the meeting are available online. No, meetings will be recorded and air on QAC TV, period. Recorded recorded where? That's what maybe that's what we're trying to say. No, they will be recorded. And, and will we'll air, air on QAC TV. Because they don't show them live. It's else. not live. No, it's a it recorded it it's recorded. Rendition that QAC TV airs at a certain time. Taped. Do you want to say videotaped instead of recorded? I thought they were live on QAC. I don't think so. Not it's not live. No. Commissioners no. are now. Okay. Commissioners just right. went live. I thought we were live. They, they, no, we've they're never fine been with that. No. Okay. Good thing. <laughs> yeah. So are we changing vi recorded to videotaped? Is that what you? Is that what you want? Or no, just recorded? Oh, okay. No. okay. Okay. So recorded is good. All right. Okay. 
Yeah, I would just leave it. We'll be recorded. Yeah. Just, and just, leave just take the DVD line DVDs out. Take off. the DVD okay. out. Okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if you did that. That's why I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you okay we with are 28? Back uh, to. Yes. Sharon, are you okay with 28? Mm hmm. Okay. But I was trying to think. What was I reading? Why was I reading that? I must have been okay with it, but I did go back to it too, Dr. King. I, I, communication from employees to board members. I think that any communication from the employee would come through the superintendent. So a written copy of any response, I, I don't understand that, that whole. That's my question. Where are you? Do we ever need that? Do we ever, do we need that? 29, 29 top of the page. Um, no. Do we need that at all? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't Because anything there. coming from the staff, you would come through your office. Right. Because well, can we take that out? It starts with board and staff on the page before, if you look. It says communication between the members of the Board of Education and the superintendent slash staff is official. So we might need to back up and start there for changes. Well, it says the same thing. Page communication between board members and page staff. Page 28, board staff's communication. Very first. Yeah, between board members and staff. Between That's board members point. and staff. Request for information by board members shall be directed to the superintendent. Exceptions to this provisions are requests for Im- involves the board member's own children. Staff will provide response. I mean, these can be combined. Yeah, but does staff provide a written copy of a response to us, to no. other members? No. Mm-hmm. Well, no, we don't. Mr. Fister does when we ask him for a budget. <laughs> but. Yeah, I would I think say take the whole communication from employees to board members. So out, communication definitely. between board members and staff. At the top. At the top. And then this um, whole part here. Cross that all off. Well, yeah. Are we going to leave the whole thing? I think for consistency, everything should <coughs> either <coughs> say take that part off. board members or members of the Board of Education. We need to be consistent through Request the whole thing. And we're not. So however we decide we recognize board members, we need to be cognizant it's that way all the way through because we're doing different things. Okay, so that first line could replace the line that's here by itself. Request for information, comma, reports, comma, presentations, work sessions shall be directed to the superintendent. Just put it all in that very first line. Mm -hmm. Exceptions to this provisions are the information requested involving board members' children. Exceptions to this provision are. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm okay with that anyway. I'm just saying, as a, as a guide, the information we just requested want to involving to us the, same way. the board members' own children. No, that's an exception. Right, exactly that. But the word involved should be involving. Involving. The exception is the information requested involves the board member's own child. Involving. Involves. The exception is. Yes, I get that. It involves their child. Information requested involves. Okay, I see it's it's a verb, not a. Yeah. Adverb. Okay, thank you. Okay. That way that next part goes away. Mm-hmm. The Board of Education Correspondence and Memoranda Procedure. Anybody have anything in that section? Page 29. Public access. I'm not good at that. Anything else on 29? Okay, 30. Excuse me. Okay, 31. Halfway down that very first section, also, it is the responsibility of the superintendent to investigate, comma, not the boards. The word and can come out. Where are you? Are you? Uh, under section 4-205, go down, go down, go down. Also, it is the responsibility of the superintendent to investigate, 
comma, right here. Not, not the, the board. board. Yeah. Issues involving school system employees shall be forwarded directly to this. Should should be. It says shall. Should be shall, not should. Hold on, slow down. Sorry, sorry. They should. Right. S s okay. S s read that mm. again. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Also, it is the responsibility of the superintendent to investigate, comma, cut out the word and, not the board. Line up. Wait a minute. Let me read that. No, it doesn't. Here it is. Also, it is the responsibility okay. of the superintendent to investigate, take away the word and. Okay, gotcha. Okay, the next sentence down, I mean, next uh, okay. issues involving school system employees shall, not should, shall. Mm -hmm be forwarded directly to the superintendent. The superintendent slash designee will, shall review, review the matter and report to the board. Not will, shall. It's uh, under citizen complaints. Yes. Regarding employees now. It shouldn't be should, it shouldn't be will, it should be shall. She sh is supposed to report to us citizen concerns? Shall. No, yes. the staff is to report to her those concerns. Issues involving school system employees yes. shall be forwarded directly to the superintendent. The superintendent slash designee shall review the matter That's it. and report to the Board of Ed. There's no choice in it. Why, no why point. should she gives you a choice. I understand. You don't think why does they, she you don't report think to us after that? It should just end with a review of the matter. I don't want to, we don't, shouldn't have to get every report of a complaint coming in. Okay. That's so, not what this said. It is, is okay. It? But shall review the matter. Shall I agree? Okay. On that, shall view the matter. View the matter, right? Not a not a will or yeah. a would. Right. Got it. It's or should. It ha it has yeah. to happen. Yeah. Because if it's a that's fine. But I said want to report them back to us on every single issue. Okay. Well, hopefully they will. But I well, it's, it's really out of because well, then it could, could end up issue. in yeah. here, you know, in an appeal and all that. Okay. So let's not go there. Okay, more questions on 31. So 32, I don't know if this um, um, This has may changed. have been updated. My okay. Kumar. Um, yeah, so we'll make sure it is the most up-to-date. Okay. okay, on Thank that you. one and also the CIP process. Just make sure that this is the next page, 33. Okay. Uh-oh, you don't have that one? Okay. Thank I you. Have that. Mm -hmm. You can have that. You can have mine. Do you have that? another one? Okay. I, I don't know. I, I wasn't going to change that. That's strictly up to you guys on that. That's just a timeline. Oh. Uh, I don't know if that's. So this is the, um, this is the CIP, please, the <coughs> CIP process and um, what we do on a monthly, month to month. I know some of it has changed, like we don't necessarily have those yes, megathons and stuff anymore. Yeah, we'll have to review this. If you can, and then put the changes to Jackie, because I don't know. Do her. That's the rest of it. I don't know if hers has the rest of it. Give it to Dr. So Tom. when do we... You go. Did you need... When do oh, we, I'm good. When Thank do you. we approve the final of the handbook? Well, at I our think, next board I session? I think I'd like ja Jackie to uh, make she the changes, then I need to submit it to Darren and have him take a look before we approve okay. it to be sure it's all legal with Comar. Okay. And that could take a month. It could. So, so but when April, it's done. So it could be June. We could be doing this at the June meeting. Yeah, just approving it, basically, okay. unless Darren has some concerns. As soon as we can, I'll go ahead and approve it at the next business meeting. In the appeals guide, Part portion of this handbook. We will Wait go back. To we're Kama. not done. No, Why are we no, no, no. Jumping? I'm just asking oh, okay. a couple questions. Okay. In the appeals guide, we should be looking at any new Comar regulations to add to this, or I don't know that there are any new Comar regulations except that we need it to be consistent in what our, what our language is Correct. and our practices. And I know that there was some concern over the number of days That's that what are I was allotted. At too. Uh -huh. I was getting to that. And they weren't defined real well. Yeah. Well, we're talking yeah. about business days or right. school calendar days, days or calendar, calendar days. Yes. What it is that we were speaking yeah. about. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying <coughs> about that. If we could. Didn't you have a meeting recently with a group um, or some on the appeals? Mm -hmm. Yes. And we 
we held it off with the um, the policy committee because there were some um, legal counsel questions mm -hmm. that that were posed to us internally. Mm -hmm. okay. So our so we're in the process of doing the cross reference to the board's okay. appeal process. Okay. Good. And do we have a policy on that? Do we have a policy we're going over on that? Our target is the April 3rd, what our next policy meeting? April 30th, yes. Is that we're trying to get that to present to the policy committee. Okay. Okay, some of us have a read this weekend. Page 35, <laughs> board member expenses. I don't have that either. All right, these I'm got done. messed up a little. I'm yeah. trying to think what I discovered today. Yeah, but um, Jackie gave us the, the, the missing ones a couple weeks later. Oh, um, that's what happened. Um, we had a duplicate of 31 and 33, I believe, because they were already in the book. It can happen. And then 35 was when we started with the new additions so, that did were I, did missing. You get it? Wait, Page 35. This has my ranking in it. Here. Oh, I was going to say. Any expenses? I didn't have any changes in that because we don't really make any claims to the board. Um, when we go to the MABE conference, for your information, um, Michelle, it, Jackie takes care of your um, room. <coughs> And the, uh, any fees dealing with May that that she does that directly. So I've never made a claim on any kind of a conference or anything. Only thing we go to is May, and then May meetings I go to. With, um, okay. I don't make claims on them, but you're allowed to according to our handbook. If you went to some conference and needed to to get reimbursed, and encourage you to if you do go. Okay. But there's a process in here of how to do that. And I imagine it's the same, uh, Mr. Fister. Did you happen to take a look at how members um, claim expenses on the kind of travel they do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, it says that you can not to exceed thousand dollars a year for travel. Does it say that? Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, that's sixty a day. You have hoot nanny on thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. Okay. I'm glad we don't abuse that. So we have if that you could just budget. read through that, is make that sure that policy is correct. What page is that? 35. Got it. Oh, it's uh, board member expenses. All right. Yeah, we do have an expense. It, it's $40,000, but that includes our stipend, too. Board member budget item is 40. We shouldn't be coming close to using all of that. No. So. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you have it on? I don't have a copy of it. Okay, you don't have it electronically? I just don't have it. I'll, I'll send you what I have. If you don't. But it's not, the pages aren't consistent. Okay. It's page 82 and what? It's page 82 of what's yeah. online. It says not all inclusive. Meaning there could be something that would be legally allowed to ask for reimbursement that isn't totally this is defined. This is not reimbursable. This list is not but inclusive, so there may be more things that are not reimbursable. Okay, that's what I was getting okay. at. Okay, right. okay. I don't have to And basically the only equipment we have is our, is our computers. Right. I'm sure they read you the riot act on that one, huh? <laughs> Any more questions on the expenses? Mr. Vister will go through that too to make sure that's current um, with what they're doing. I don't think we've been doing next page. Yeah, the other thing is that a lifetime complimentary pass to all activities sponsored by the school system. We're not doing any of that. We didn't give any plaques and any certificates of appreciation. Do we want to give that lifetime complimentary pass? I got it. Who takes advantage of it? Nobody. I didn't get any great plaque when I left. I was going to say, I don't think we've been doing that at all. Not just I don't two want years ago. I don't even think should even recognition of service be on here. No, that should be up to the board at the time. The I was thinking we should delete what the whole thing. Just that we talked about before the thirty percent. Yeah, yeah, that we could. could. Yeah, because Not guess what? It depends on who's on the board, what they want to do for their outgoing members. Right. So to put it down there is useless because we haven't been following it anyway. Thirteen. Okay, so I recommend we remove that too. We're going to remove page thirty-eight. 
we'll try to do the right thing and recognize everybody, but we don't want it in writing the next in case three, we forget. So the next two pages are just... I have a question on 41. Oh, you do? Oh, I'm well, okay. I'm on 39 and, and uh, well, 40. Procedure. Prime procedure. We'll leave that go. Yeah. Okay, so, 41. Uh, mo action is made by motion and second and carried by four votes. Why not just supermajority? That's a supermajority. I don't know that you want to define supermajority, though, because... What if there's only four people That's here? why you don't want to define it. <laughs> you <laughs> can say it, it's based on how many people are here, but you may not even be able to vote on something like that if you're down to three members, uh, four members. That's what we think. I mean, three members. Three, three members. Five, That's what I meant. Because two to one is certainly not a. Well, that is a super a majority, majority of the three. Yeah. Majority. Of the three, yeah. Same majority. Yeah. Same majority. Same majority. Come from majority. I, I think that's a question for Darren because he had very um, or do we report distinct him. guidelines on what legislative services required a super this? majority. Yeah. There are things that do. Say, I'll double check with with uh, Darren, but otherwise we'll change it back no, to majority if it's not a yeah. requirement in Kamar or something. Put it to majority. Okay, I, I highlight another things I have to ask Aaron about. Okay. We can have that. Okay. Anything else? Great job, everybody, prodding through this. So the next step is, um, Jack, like I said, Jackie will make correct the corrections we've mentioned. We'll verify, I'll verify these four or three or four items with Darren, um, superintendent. I got problems changing that. I'll tell you why. You always have five board members elected. Four of them have to agree to make a change to this handbook. Suppose you have a, bl a block, three, two, when we see it all the time. You're not going to, that, that, would, that would preclude this four votes. That, this is to keep from blo having block votes, block voting, where three people agree on everything all the time and two people don't. That's why it was written this way. Now, if you only have four serving members, what I would like Darren to clarify is, can we pass something like this? We're in that position with three votes. We've only got four serving members. There is not gonna be any block. It's always gonna be three to one or two to two or four to or, nothing. Or we could put in there specifically, if we have five members, it's four. If we have four members, it's three. We could actually specifically say that. Would that be easier? Because well, there's we're getting chances confused that you on. might have three members. Suppose something happens to two members and you've okay, only got three. It, then it's two out of three. I mean, I think we need to get out. him to define some of this. Okay. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. All right. So, Jackie, make the corrections. I will pass it by uh, Dar the lawyer to be sure that we're not breaking any rules. And then, when all that is done, then the very next business meeting, we will vote on approval of the changes to the hand handbook. Does that meet everybody's requirement? Yep. And you guys will update mm -hmm. the CIP. We'll update, and yeah, the, the, the CIP steps. and the um, strategic plan goals. Okay. Nothing and changed with the appeals, right, other than what we're going to check and make sure we're still in compliance with everything. We didn't make any notation changes, changes yeah. did we? I, I, I don't know think we that did. you all even went over. I don't think we I, did. I don't think that you did. We don't so, have time. Not today. So my suggestion would be let us work through and then at least we have a starting place for some to um, changes. Right. You know. But I wouldn't want that to delay our publishing and of this portion. It, of that's the why handbook. we separated it. That's yeah. why we separated we it. Check okay. it with the policy and then you know check in Comore and then I only recommend just defining the days. And ten business days, it's calendar days, we just need to be consistent through all of our policies. Okay. <clears throat> That's all the I ask. We'll do that. Okay. Future meeting. Last thing is uh, future meetings and events. Um, the 22nd, which is Monday, unfortunately it, it is that school's closed, but there is a commissioner's hearing at Bayside at 7. The 23rd is um, also another commissioner's hearing and the 24th. One's Bayside, then the Liberty Building, and, and Sellersville Middle. I can't go to the 22nd when I'm out of town, but I will go to the other two. You're all encouraged to come to the hearings. Um, if anything, just show support for the teachers if you're available um, for, the, for, the, for the budget. Uh, once in a while, we'll, I mean, we can do a, make a short statement to the commissioners, just 
kind of speak to them of what you think, encouraging them to pass our budget is what we do. Um, because there are also other people that show up, obviously, that are, are trying to support. And hopefully uh, there will be a lot of support from the public to, um, to encourage the commissioners to fund our, the superintendent's complete budget that was presented. April 23rd from 11.30 to 1.30 is National Honor Society Senior Luncheon at the Bridges Restaurant on Ken Island. Um, May 1st is our regular school board meeting at 4.30. May 15th at 11, from 11 to 2 is our regular school board work session. June the 17th is our annual Board of Education Superintendent Conference at Chesapeake College. It's a really nice day event. Um, all of the Eastern Shore boards and their superintendents attend the event and they have lunch. It's very nice and usually have a very great um, speaker at the, these kinds of events and that's at Chesapeake College. Okay, is there anything else? Can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. I have a second. Second. A motion second to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, meeting's adjourned. Thank you. Thanks for